I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is February 23rd, 2019. And in this video, I'm going to solve the problem of formatting drives in Linux that are over 2 terabytes in size. Now, I'll be doing an Ubuntu 16.04, uh, but I'll be using parted instead of using the fdisk command to partition the drives and format them. Otherwise, you end up with a 2 terabyte drive. Okay, so first let me recreate the problem. So if you already know what you're doing, you can kind of fast forward to using parted and go over this app. Skip over this FDIS part. Um, a couple before I go into that though, a couple good websites to go look at. Here's this Geek Diary, which I will put a, a link up to in the show notes, and also this uh, this little blog post. Uh, GNU parted solving the dreaded resulting partition is not properly aligned for best result performance. A um, couple of good sites that I've used to put this together. So here I am in this box. Let me first do an LSB release dash A. So you can see I'm on Ubuntu 16.04. And let me, first of all, let me uh, show, let me, I'll just switch to root user right now. Sudo switch user, be root. If I do an ls uh, dev sd star, I can see here's my guy, sdb. That's the new drive I added. So from here, if I do an fdisk dash l, just to look at it, dev sdb, I can see there it is, 3.6 terabytes. So 3.6 terabytes, I will have a problem if I follow my normal procedure. So let me go create my own problem. So here I'll do an F disk. I'll create the partition, SDB. And here you see this warning. That's your first clue. Don't do this. The side of the disk is 3.6 terabytes. You're gonna have problems, big, nice red letters. And if you're like me and you ignore it because you have a procedure, don't. Uh, so here I'll hit N for new, I think I believe it's new, uh, P primary. Then I typically just follow the defaults. Partition number one, first sector, last sector, and W to write it out. And so now I should have the dev sdb. There we go, I got my one. So I got my partition set up. Now I need to format it. Do ext4 dev sdb1 and let that run. Okay, good. Uh, now I made, I set up a folder here, but I'll remove it here real quickly. Uh, just called test. I was using that to mount. Oh, it's not there. Oh, that's right, because I restarted this. Never mind. So let me go uh, edit my FS tab folder just to make it simpler to mount. Go down here and I will insert. Just do some copy and paste here, something simple. There we go. So now I'll mount this at the test directory. So I'll say mount, uh, no, need to make my directory. Make directory, test, mount, test. And if I do that, I will see I have a two terabyte drive. So doing the traditional way, even though it's 3.6 terabytes, I can only have two terabytes available to me. So big problem. So let me go unmount that. And let me go, probably I can just, uh, probably want to remove the partition. So let me do an fdesk dash, let's say, dev sdb1. All right. I uh, know sdb. sdb, I'll do a d for deleted partition. Partition one has been deleted. Uh, do I need to do a w right to do that? Hmm. Now we do delete, no depression to find. Okay, good, so that, that got it done. Okay, so now if I do an ls dev sdb, perfect, I don't see my one, don't have my partition. So now let me use parted, and there's a couple issues with parted too, uh, where we can get this error, that, I shouldn't say an error, we get this little not properly aligned thing that can crop up. He has a good solution here. Um, should have got the name of the person who posted this. I apologize for that. And they're going back and forth. Let's go. Anyway. Hackers ramblings. Anyway, okay. But so I'll just use parted. So I'll run the parted command as root. And then what I will do here is I will say I will select dev sdb. How about I learn to spell select? Select dev sdb. Boom, there we go. And I will say make label GPT. 
Everything will be lost. Say yes. Boom. And then I can do a print free. And I can see I got my all my there's my start, my end, size, well, everything looks good. And so now if I do a make part primary, this is where we can have issues, potentially. So I'll say ext4. I'll say start, and I can look at that and I can say, you know, 17.4, you know, kilobytes you would think would work, right? And you look at that and you say three, nine, five, eight gigabytes. Uh, and so it's outside of it. So you have a problem here. Um, what you got to do, he had, he had a simpler solution in his blog post. Let me quit out of there. So I'll say quit. I'll start this again. I will say, here's, here's the procedure you should be using. Say so switch the units to S unit dash S. Oh, well, I still got to select, don't I? So let me do, let me do this procedure right. So select, select dev sdb, uh, make label gpt, unit slot, yes, say yes, and then say unit s. So change your units, print free, and so there we are. And then so you say make part primary ext4 because I'm doing the ext4 pressure that way 0% to 100% and that seems to solve all your problems with trying to get it the right size. Then I can say print and I can see there I go I got my partition and it looks like it's all set up as big as it can possibly be and I'll just do quit and now let me check dev sdb there's my sdb1 I can do an F disk dash L uh, dev STB one. And there we are 3.6 terabytes. So we look good. Uh, next thing I want to do is do make FS dot EXT four um, dev STB one. Oh, did I already format it? Mm, well, let me go with that. Maybe, maybe parted formatted. I'm just used to running that after the fact. So let me, let me leave that, like that as is. So I may not have to run that. And I do a couple of checks. Block ID dash O list. Block ID dash O list. So there he is. RSV1 EXT not mounted. Okay, looks good. Um, F disk. We already did this. F disk dash L dev SDB1. Looks good. So now I should still have etc. FS tab set up correctly. Yep. So now let me just mount. Mount test and try her out. Ah, yeah, there you go. So you have to you have to run that because it's remembering it's remembering before. So see it's it's only formatted to two terabytes. So yeah, it probably would work. Well, it's, it's not fixing our problem. I think that the driver would work, but it's still two terabytes. So ext4, um, oh, how about, let me unmount it now. Proceed anyway, there we go. There we go. So let me see now, did that fix my problem? Oh, well, how about we mount it, right? Mount. There we go. 3.6 terabytes. So now let me go into test and just make sure I can touch file.txt. This file.txt. Data. Okay, cool. Boom, fix. So. I got I have a new procedure now. Don't use F disk, use parted. And so, hey, we're getting bigger and bigger drives. So I'm looking forward to having eight, 10 and 20 terabyte drive someday. So we got to start moving. I have to start moving from using F disk to parted. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com 
View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username Patman Denver, or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.